the Glass City Grind. I'm Cheryl. And Lisa. I don't see Charlie. I know. We're <laughs> missing our, what, our third musketeer. We're calling him a musketeer. I wasn't sure what you were going to call okay, him. Okay, I I'll was accept thinking. that. Amigo. I was going to say amigo, then I was like, we're kind of like the three musketeers. The trio. So. He's not here. He's not here right now. He'll be in later to do some of the interviews with us, but he has something mm. going on today. I'm missing his little bow tie right now, because, you know, he always likes his... You fancy schmancy bow, tie. bow ties and suits and yes so how are you doing today i'm good how are you good you know it's the we're winding down the actual summer months i know back to school has started yes my kids went back to school this week yes so did yours mine did too and you know it's, it's, it's back to the school grind it is it's a little rough because it's they're used to sleeping in and yeah you know in the summer my son is a vampire have i talked to you yes. about that i do know this Blake. <laughs> He turns into a vampire during the summer months. Yeah. And now he can no longer do that. So it's it's difficult. It's I think a hard adjustment to get their bodies back, you know, used to getting up so early, going to bed a little bit earlier. Right. You know, being at school all day. It is it takes a little time to get back into the flow. And then with the extra activities, you're still getting up early, you're doing the schoolwork, mm -hmm. homework. And the activities. So oh. it's a lot. It's a lot. So Ryan, I feel like I live in my vehicle. I know the other moms out here. Yes. feel the same way. And some of the dads that do oh, yeah. the running, but it's usually the moms that do it, but there are some dads that do a lot of the running yep. too, and it's like you live in that car. It's, do you feel like you will be like missing something in your house, and you're looking for it, and you're like, oh yeah, that's right, it's in my car. I feel like half of my belongings are in my vehicle. Yes. You know, we went to um, Vegas, Yes. and Haley had her dance bag that um, had all her dance shoes in it, and she carries that like in a backpack. Mm -hmm. And we started back up at dance, and we're like, where is that backpack? Oh, we just knew we left it in the airport. We just knew that, da, 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 da. We looked all over the house. Finally, it was found in that car. I know, I'm <laughs> telling you, there's, it's like, um, it, it's like it seems to collect all of our belongings yes. slowly over time, yes. and then everything you own is in that vehicle. Absolutely. And I did actually, just before school started, put my kids outside, and I said, do not come out. <laughs> Until you bring every single thing in from that vehicle. Oh my, I, we might find money. No, stuff you know, in there. Who I think it's in there. I actually have found checks before. You know, like someone wrote me a check. Oh my god. And goodness. then I found a check later. And we found $50 cash once in our car. Oh my gosh, Lisa. I know. That was like, that was an exciting day. <laughs> I, I feel like if you go to our viewers, if they go to their car and clean it out and find money, mm -hmm. they should inbox us or Facebook us and let us know they found money too. Yeah, I want to know. Do you find... Money. Like more than just a couple quarters and change. More than five dollars. Yeah. Let us know. Let's see what the biggest amount is that somebody has. And found. we'll give you something. Yeah. We don't know what, but we'll give you something. We'll give you. <laughs> we'll give you something. Something exciting. <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure to join us because we've got a great show ahead of us. We will be back after this break. Hey, Buckeye Cable viewers, we're waking you up with love, laughter, and entertainment. Every Saturday morning at 8 a.m., Sundays, Encore at noon, and anytime on Video On Demand. It's the Glass City Grind, Toledo's favorite local television show. Hey, welcome back to the Glass City Grind. It's me, Cheryl, you know Charlie, and we're joined now by an author, Lawrence St. John. I wanted to make sure I got it right. I know. I was, I was going to front you out for reading the book, but it's well, okay. And She's had a frazzled morning. I've had a frazzled morning, and I wanted to clarify that you were not the author of a book, nor no, was I'm, I. <laughs> that's all right. So welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you. First of all, I love your shirt. I just want to say that I love, love your tie. Well, <laughs> that's enough of the bromance. It's a bro right, fest right okay. now. I'm here, here too, guys. On. I'm here too. Okay. So how did you start writing? Um, I started writing probably in second grade. I wrote in my head, not on a book. Um, I had these stories in my head, and um, but growing up, being active in sports, you know, football, baseball, I kind of put my story aside and, you know, kept it in my head. Um, in 2006, around 2006, my granddaughter was going to be born, so she was kind of my inspiration for my, for my uh, books. That was around 2006. Um, so in my, I started in 2006. My first book was published in 2012, so it took, you know, six years to start it. To get a Just a quick turnaround. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's yeah. what I was going to ask. Is it a long process from the thought to paper, then to get it published? Right. Yeah, it, like, it's, it took me about a year to write, and then another year to edit, and then another two years trying to find an agent or a publisher, you know, 
to take on my work. Uh -huh. um, that's probably about a hundred, you know, no letters, and um, eventually I had a friend that was a publisher, and she she looked at my work, looked at it a couple of times, and she liked it, and eventually after I see six years, I got a contract for my, for my first book. So. Very wow. good. Now, are these your first books, or are these like? Yes, it's, it's the first and second in a series. I'm working on books uh, three and four right now, so hopefully it'll be out um, 2016 and 2018. All right, tell me about Metatron. Tell us about Metatron. Where would you come up with that character? Well, I wanted a superhero with a, a cool name. I'm and right Charlie here. was taking it. Oh, look, yeah. I'm, like, I'm, I'm just so yeah. silly. I'm like, I'm right yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and all the names like, um, you know, Guardian or Defender or Messenger or, you know, the Hulk. You know, all those names have been taken. So I just Googled and, and, the, and Metatron came up. I, and I didn't know what Metatron was. So I looked it up. And if you look in the Bible, Metatron isn't, you know, in the Bible. But he is an angel. Mm. So, he, uh, from what I read, he's a powerful angel, angel second to God's powers. Okay. So I thought, well, this, this can be a, a cool superhero with all these powers. But the, the powers that he has, I kind of mixed in my own, my own powers. So the name stuck, and I talked to a couple other authors about it, and I said, uh, does it sound too much like Megatron, like Transformers? Right, right. And, and they said, oh, no, no, that's fine. It maybe work for you because people might get them mixed up in their twine and, and, you know, and think about the book. So that's how I came about that. So you are a Toledo native? Um, You're from the Glass well, Yeah, I was born in St. in Charles, and I grew up uh, in Genoa. Okay. Which was an area. My mom and dad were born, both born in Toledo, so yeah. Cool. All right, so if someone wants to get in, now you said these are for, these are like teenagers. It's, it's like a middle, middle grain teen, yeah, it's, it's sci-fi action adventure superhero books. Okay, so if they want to pick up uh, both of these books, uh, Metatron, yep. this is uh, The Angel Has Risen, and the, which, which is first? And the first one is this one. The Angel Has Risen, yep. and then The Mystical Blade. Yep. If they want to pick it up, where can they find the books? Uh, the Kindle version is on Amazon.com, um, and also the paperback, and also the paperback can be ordered through Barnes & Noble and uh, Books A Million, and um, they can go into the stores and order them in. So. Okay. Oh, good, but you say the Kindle versions are online, they yes. can get them and, yep. and buy them there. That's good. Right. That's so good. can we follow you on Twitter? Do Absolutely. we need to follow yep. you on website? We can just put that information sure. up so we can give you ideas maybe yep. about characters and stuff. Yeah, if you want to write a book about me, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because you know. he is quite the character. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. Uh, Lawrence, thank you for joining us, man. We really yeah, appreciate thank having you. For you. Right, thanks today. for stopping by. We'll be right back with more of the Glass City Grind. Stick around, don't you go anywhere. Coming to Company C. Fall into fun with new classes featuring Mommy and Me Dance, ages 18 to 36 months, and Tiny Tots Tumbling for three to four year olds. Email 123 GOCC at gmail.com for more information. Hey, welcome back to the Glass City Grind. It's me, Cheryl, Charlie, and we are joined now by someone that is hilarious. Besides us. Right. Mocha. Besides us. Hi. Mocha. How are you guys? How are you? The lady. The Duchess. The Duchess, the Duchess. of the Comedy. Duchess. Yes. She set me straight. The she said the Duchess. the Duchess. I am here. <laughs> The Duchess of Comedy, we're so glad you joined us oh, today. Oh, hail her highness. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? So glad to have you here. So yes, glad you, you have look me. wonderful, first of all. It's Thank been a while you. since I've seen you in person. Yeah, I know. It's been a couple of years since I know. I've seen you guys. So. But you Thank look you. great. Well, we're excited. We want to go straight to the event you have coming up. That's right. Up, oh, which yeah. is? What's the event? It's uh, Stop the Violence. It's a uh, comedy show for um, domestic violence. And it's in memory of a good friend of mine, uh, Wendabi Triplett. She was actually murdered uh, December 24th, 2012. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we just, I wanted to have something in her memory and all the proceeds are gonna go to the women's shelter, uh, the YWCA. It's a great cause. That right there is going to make it a success. She has a lot Absolutely. of friends and Absolutely. people who love her and still hold her, hurt her memory. Absolutely. Very present. Very she present. She was a great part. She was a great woman, really yeah. and truly, inside and out. She was just sweet. And uh, people need to be aware that this isn't just a one-time thing. Domestic violence is very serious. There's a woman getting beaten every 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. So we need to be aware of what's mm -hmm. going on in our community. Absolutely. So, 
Absolutely. Right. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to coming, and that's a good way to turn a, a tragic situation that is obviously, un unfortunately, ongoing into something funny. So, are you performing? Are you do, are you putting it together, or are you taking the stage? Don't tell me you're well, not taking the stage. Well, I'm gonna host it. Um, it's not about me, you know. So. Come on, oh, man. I'm well, I, hosting, I'm gonna definitely tell some jokes, but okay. I it's it's not about the comedy. It's about the cause. Okay. So, um, I do have some comics coming in. I have a singer, um, Isis. I'm sure you guys mm -hmm. have heard of her. She's a, a Toledo native. She's very good. She mm -hmm. is wonderful. She has a very good voice. Very beautiful voice. Um, I've got a poet, um, uh, Jody Summers, excellent young man, very gifted. Um, also a Toledo native. Um, the three comics, one is uh, Jeff B. He's from Chicago. I've got Sean Showtime from Cleveland, Ohio. Um, then we have, um, oh God, Ray Smooth. He's from Detroit. Um, so it's going to be an awesome show. It's going to be an awesome show. When is, when is the show? The show is September 6th uh -huh. um, at the Garden People Lake are calling Park. for tickets right, right now. Yes, <laughs> we need tickets for the show. It's September it's what? Be September 6th uh -huh. at the Garden Lake Hall. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a classy show. So come and enjoy because it's going to be great. Okay, so now... You'll 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 tell some jokes on the mic, but you're not you're not going to do a whole set. Right, I'm not. Have you stopped? Up. Right, where have you oh, been? Oh, absolutely. Okay, because that's what I was, that's what I was worried you about. You know, no, I, okay. I do a lot of traveling actually. Um, you know, I'm I'm not ever against doing comedy in my hometown, but I have to go where the money is. You that's know, right. I've got to mm -hmm. eat. <laughs> so, that's funny, that's uh, about food. I leave for food. Yeah. All right, <laughs> I work for food and I leave for food, you know. So um, I've been traveling a lot and I love traveling. So, you know, that's wherever good. they hire me, that's where I'm going. Right. So. That's good. So the right. event, once again, comedy with a cause, you know, mm -hmm. stop the violence, mm -hmm. uh, stop domestic violence. Yes. Uh, right. September that's right. 6th. Yes. Yes. Call, like, oh, and they can get tickets how? They can go to Bag Me, um, uh, which is a, a beautiful boutique. If you've never been there, you got to go check it out. Uh, she dresses me all the time. Um, she dresses she, me too, girl. She, she can uh, dress me. I've seen him in there, honey. He had the had cutest little, little tube tie. <laughs> 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 is there something you want to tell us? No, she called me Kate. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But no, uh, I think the tickets also, uh, uh, I see here. Uh, Shauna's uh, hair studio. Yep, and Jack's um, Men's Jack too. Menswear. And you can also call me for tickets. I am easy to be found. My number is on the flyers. I have flyers all over the city. Um, and I will bring them to you. Okay. Um, I want you to please come out and support this cause. Yes. It's not about me. It's about the cause. So That's come good. out and support. But we're proud of you for doing show. that. It's really good. We really yeah. hope it's a good and show. And I'm taking this show on the road. I'm, we're going we're gonna to be going to other cities and doing the same thing and, and, and donating money to other shelters, domestic violence shelters oh, very proud across of you. the country. Her number again is 699-2288. When Dobby would be very happy that you're doing this. I'm positive, I'm sure. So good luck to you. We'll be there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for yes. September 6th, Garden Lake Hall. Yes. We'll be right back. Mocha, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. We'll be right love back with more of the Glass City Grind right after these words. Glass City Grind, Glass City Grind. Join us for the first annual Glass City Grind golf outing, Saturday, September 12th at Eagles Landing in Oregon, Ohio. Registration starts at 7.30 with a shotgun start at 8 a.m. Cost is only $75 a person or $300 for a foursome, which includes a continental breakfast, lunch, and live entertainment. Visit our website for details. It's sure to be a great day filled with prizes, celebrities, music, and more. Hi guys, welcome back. Right now I'm joined by two new friends to our show, Julie from Franklin Park Mall and Stephanie from Susan G. Komen. And ladies, you have some really exciting stuff coming up. So I hear that we've got some fashion shows in the work. Tell me a little bit more about what is going on. We do, actually August 29th is going to be a very exciting day for us with two fashion shows, oh my gosh. both with two very different focuses. So both of them are partnering. Uh, Sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> so they're partnering. T tell me more about what they're partnering with. Uh, with the community, on two different community organizations. So okay. our first one is at noon, 
It's uh, in partnership with Stop Out Bullying, a national organization, and our goal is to, to really reinforce with kids that bullying isn't cool and that there are things that you can do, but we're presenting it in a fun way with fashion and live music. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, local band Distant Cousins will be there. Oh, that's so uh, Playing live and actually debuting a new music video. Um, about bullying that Scott Fish from Distant Cousins wrote for his son. So you're going to have like big screens, yeah. a runway. This is yeah. like a full blown. It's a full fashion blown show. big fashion show, and then all of the merchandise is featured from our retailers at the mall. So very high energy popcorn party, that kind of a thing for Love our morning that. show. But then we change gears a little bit for our afternoon show. At four o'clock, we're hosting Susan G. Komen for a We're Pink and Proud Fashion Soiree. Ooh. And our models for that show are actually local breast cancer survivors. Oh my gosh, what a cool story. So how did you guys go about finding your models? Yeah, you know, I just want to say that we're incredibly excited about this event and proud to be a part of it, and we're really looking forward to it. Um, we did not have any problems getting breast cancer survivors to step up and say, I'd be happy to model. I think it's a, it's a wonderful thing for them to step out there, strut their stuff, and, um, you know, show their pink and, you know, just get involved. But I think it's going to be a really fun event, and we're really excited yeah. about it. And then you guys also have some registration going on that weekend. We do. We are af offering for the first time ever Race for the Cure registration at the mall on um, Saturday, August 29th from noon to 6. Okay. And then Sunday, um, August 30th from 1 to 4. So um, come out and register for the Race for the Cure. Come to the fashion show. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff going on. And Julie, if our viewers would like to find more information about this, how can they do that? Everything's on our website at Shopping Franklin Park mall.com and also on our Facebook. We have events on our Facebook page. Okay, and ladies, just a little tidbit of info. I thought I'd share my story. I once modeled a fashion show at Franklin Park. Can you believe this? For Dillard's, it was manners classes. I, bet I you took are. manners oh, yeah. classes at <laughs> Dillard's and actually they set up a runway, same thing yeah. outside of Dillard's, and it was Lion's Store then. Yes. Oh, yeah. And you did like a little fashion show. My mother put me through that. Oh, dear God. <laughs> yeah. It was like, and all my friends from school came. So I have sure. a little bit of, a little bit of, um, history here with the mall and my own uh, modeling skills. So. Well, you're welcome back to model anytime. <laughs> I think those days have passed, but thank you so much and you're very kind. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. We're so excited about this event and viewers, make sure you stop by. You can check out our website for more information or call the number below. We'll see you back after this break. Welcome back to the Glass City Grind. It's me, Cheryl, Lisa, and we are joined now with some beautiful, sparkly, national title holders. Welcome. Hello. I, I'm overwhelmed by your crowns. We, and are, the, we are too. And the bling. <laughs> the bling. It's just the bling factor. It's like, it's sparkly here. I mean, you guys look adorable. Yes. Thank you for coming out. Teresa, we have had you here before. Yes. Teresa Hillis. Yes. And Miss Galaxy, Mrs. Galaxy. Yes. I don't want to mess up your title. Mrs. Galaxy. Mrs. Yes. Galaxy. And you are new to our show. Welcome, Kendall. I know that's your first name. Well, thank you. And you are Miss. Pre you got to. I can't read the whole thing. Miss National. Miss Preteen Galaxy 2016. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. That's a lot to say. Yes. yes. How exciting. Now, when, where was this held? Orlando, Florida. Okay. That's At kind of a fun place to be. Did you guys get to do anything fun while you were down there? Yeah, I got to go to Magic Kingdom and Ooh. Disney. I got to see Cinderella's Castle for the first, for the first and last time. But um, <laughs> first and last. First and last. We're well, taking know. it down for to replace it with Frozen. Oh. But we got to stay at the Crib Royale, which has this huge waterfall and slide. And we got to take photo shoots next to them. Yeah. So, oh, so we you guys were, got to have a little fun while you were down there, too. And we were definitely treated like royalty the entire time that we were down there before we were crowned. For the <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> and how much work 
is there to prep yourselves to get ready for a national competition like that? A lot. It is a lot of work. Now, I, let me ask you real quick because I want to confirm because Katie Maskey is a friend of our show and she helps with like a lot of little segments and fashion show things that, and, that we do here. Right. Did she coach or help you guys? Was she part of your... Yes, she coached yes. both of us. Okay, yes. that's what I wanted to confirm because we wanted yes. to give her a little shout out. Way to go, Katie. Yeah, Katie. we yes. love Katie. Yes. So we, we had won the Midwest Galaxy titles and okay. then went on to nationals. And it's actually kind of ironic that we brought three national titles back to the Midwest. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, great. Our little miss, Ava, could not be here today, <laughs> but um, we miss you, Ava. Yes. Hey, Ava. Yeah, but she's she's the little miss, and so uh, for three of us to bring national titles back to the Midwest. So the Midwest is pretty fierce, thanks to Studio K yes. coaching. Yes, yes. that's yes. awesome, because, you know, sometimes we get a little bit of um, bad publicity for being in the Midwest. It's boring, it's cold, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, look at this awesome thing that you guys are doing going around showing your talents and bringing crowns back to our area. That's really cool. Right. What was the most scariest part um, of the pageant for you, Kendall? Interview. Because <laughs> you're like with these, four, well, how many guys? Four, right? There were a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there were four or five, I can't remember. I think it was five. And they're just asking you, you give them your sheet with has, that has all your oh sorry has all your stuff on there, and you're like thinking to yourself, how do these strangers know all your stuff? And then you remember you got your sheet here, and they're asking you all these questions. And you're like, if I mess this up, then I miss points and everything. And if a judge, and you're like, if a ju one judge doesn't ask you a question, you're kind of like. Do they like me? Do they not like me? So it's a little intimidating. Yeah. Not like us, because we're no. not intimidating no. at all. No, no one we're pretty relaxing. We even have donuts here. So yeah, I, mean, we're I know. Like, like, yeah. That's I what we're helping. Don't, don't, tell don't tell me our fit in the grind don't, people. Yeah, or don't tell time. Katie. She's going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> what was the toughest part or um, scariest part of, for you of the process? You know, being a missus and being older, um, seasoned. Uh, seasoned. Yes. I like that. I was, I, like I, I was one of the more seasoned women in my age division. I think the oldest was 42. Mm -hmm. um, when I went, I just went with this sense of um, accomplishment, and I, I really knew who I was, and that was part of the reason why I decided to compete in the Galaxy system, is because there's five stages of competition. You've got photogenic, you've got interview, uh, we do swim. They don't do swim. We do fashion wear and we do, we do evening gown. Mm -hmm. And I know who I am. Mm -hmm. I know what I like. Um, and it's just, it was just going and, and showing the judges who I am and no regrets. Mm -hmm. uh, when I walked off the stage and all phases of competition were done, I said, win, lose, or draw. You did your best. You I did my friends. best. Absolutely. Awesome. No regrets. And so awesome. I was happy with whatever. Obviously, I'm much happier <laughs> you know, winning the crown, but I was very happy with everything. And I, and I told Coach Katie I wouldn't have changed a thing. Right. I loved right. every bit of it. So do you do a talent of yours? No. Do you no. do a talent? No. Galaxy pageants don't do talent, unlike everyone else that mostly does pageant. Okay. Now, what do you think is the key thing, because you know, a lot of people, like our daughters do dance and cheerleading, and sometimes people are like, oh, you put your daughters in all this makeup, and you put them out there, and you do this stuff. What do you think, both of you, I'd like to know your opinion, is the, you know, the most important thing that you would like our viewers to know about why pageants are important, and what it can help a young lady, or even a seasoned lady, you know, accomplish in their life? Do you want to go well, first? Yeah. Well, like, it helps you get out there on the stage mm -hmm. and talk to more people. Like, my mom was talking to me, and she's like, this interview helps you get, like, interview skills for when you're older, going to a job and stuff. Very true. And then when you're on stage, you're more, you get more comfortable with the, uh, the big audience. Like, if you wanted to start dancing after, you get to be used to the audience. If you want to mm -hmm. act, anything you want to do that encourages an audience. That's great. And mm -hmm. then you learn to talk on stage and stuff. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think kind of spinning off of what Kendall says is, uh, to me, success is any time you push yourself out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Because you never know what exactly you're capable of until you push yourself out of your comfort zone. Uh, I am very young in pageantry. I just mm -hmm. started two, three years ago. 
and I started with the Ms. Veteran America competition. Okay. And it was for the sole purpose of advocating for homeless female veterans. Okay. I can do that. I can give. Mm -hmm. And I loved the stage part of it. I loved the dressing up and the being beautiful. I live in a house full of boys. <laughs> so I have, I have two you. sons, my husband, my dog is a boy, and I think the straight cat is a boy. So for me to get on stage, it was, it was really stepping out of my comfort zone and saying, mm -hmm. okay, well, I, I can do this because I was not an in-front-of-people kind of person. And through this journey of two years, I've met so many incredible women. I've heard so many incredible stories. I don't have daughters, so to gain... Daughters as sister queens is wonderful. Mm -hmm. It it really is amazing. So you've neat. only done it for two years. Is there hope for like yeah, can, can you, like, you think that Coach Katie we could maybe <laughs> absolutely she can help us absolutely. Yeah. Uh, all right, <laughs> because I'm really, check into that. <laughs> really aside from the two sets of eyelashes and all of the makeup and tape and glue and <laughs> things like that aside katie from, would have to do a little bit of tape extra and glue. <laughs> but aside from all of that really it, it is about who you are on the inside mm -hmm. absolutely uh, I and that. and i really think i mean as far as dance goes yeah they wear a lot of makeup and they wear some really cute outfits but that's not who they are every day mm -hmm. they that's their extracurricular mm -hmm. activity. right absolutely yep. and um i'm i'm a former marine and somebody asked me they said why why pageants? Why do you want to do pageants? And I, I didn't know how to explain it to them. He's part of my Marine Corps League that I'm a member of. And I said, it's kind of like going into the Marine Corps. You go in with this sense of pride. This mm -hmm. is what I want to do because I want to be someone bigger and better. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to do. You have no idea what the journey is going to be like to get to graduation of Marine Corps boot camp. But you know that this is, this is what you want to do. This is your goal. So same thing in pageantry. You have a goal. You'd like to reach the crown. You have no idea what you're going to pull out of you. Mm -hmm. Win, lose, or draw. Yeah. That's you know? awesome. Well, we are proud of you here yes. in the city. Yes, and thank you so yes. much for joining us yes. today, ladies. Thank you. Um, as always, we love having a little extra bling on set. Absolutely. And if people want to see more of you or find out more, are you guys on Facebook? Yes, I have a Mrs. Galaxy page, so you can find me at Mrs. Galaxy. Okay. You can type in Kendall Susak okay. for mine, and it'll pop up. All right. Well, thank you again, and we um, look forward to seeing many more crowns and sashes from you ladies. Well, and I would just like to plug one little thing. Oh, the yeah. Midwest Galaxy pageant uh, for next year, they are looking at scheduling it for April, around April 8th and 9th weekend. So keep an eye out. Um, you can follow the Midwest Galaxy Great. page on Facebook. Well, we'll be sure to get more information from our friend Katie, and yeah. we will keep our viewers informed of that. Yes. Absolutely wonderful. Yes. All right, thanks again. Thanks for having us. Yes. Make sure to go grab a cup of coffee, come back and join us. We'll be back after this break. Attention businesses, would you like to advertise on the Glass City Grind? If so, email us at theglasscitygrind at gmail.com. The Glass City Grind is a morning television talk show helping you to start your day with positive, fun, and enlightening stories in Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our show. We had so much fun. What great guests we had on our show today. An exciting day. We hope you have a great weekend. Make sure to check us out online. Facebook, Twitter. Twitter. We're all over the place. And Charlie said to say goodbye too. He came in a little bit later, did his interviews, and had to hit the road. He's a busy man, so we let him off the hook for yes, the, the right. closing. Enjoy your families. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend. Wake up. Wake up.